Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a Vans video because MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art in New York, recently collaborated with Vans for the second time I believe. I think they did a collaboration around June or July of last year as well, which was a pretty good one. But this year is a lot bigger and the first collection dropped on the last day of September, I think it was the 30th of September that it dropped. And there'll be a second release, I believe, in November with some more artists and art and shoes coming out. If you don't know, I'm a massive Vans collector, so Vans are my thing, you know? They're kind of the only shoes I ever wear, to be honest. And if I like a pair of Vans and if I think it's going to be valuable as a collectible piece in the future, I'm going to buy it. So I bought four of the shoes. There you go. Four boxes of shoes. I actually really enjoy the boxes uh, for this collection. They're just kind of plain and silver. We'll have a look at them in a second as well. But yeah, with the MoMA logo on them. And I thought I would show them to you. We can unbox them and also if you want to see what they look like on feet, you know, when you wear them, watch until the end because there'll be a little montage of me wearing all four of them. And start with the first pair. So, um, I'm very excited. So uh, this, this collection, like I said, um, had some collections that were just like a generic MoMA collection kind of thing where you just have like the MoMA logo on it and some colours and then some specific artist ones which were really cool. So I, I don't actually know which ones which because all the boxes look the same. Let's quickly have a look at the boxes. So as you can see there is the MoMA logo, Museum of Modern Art. Um, it's got a very uh, cool, cool silver kind of I guess grid looking box. There's the Vans logo here. It does say release August 14th 2020 but this would have been pre-COVID I believe so these weren't actually released until I think either the first day of October or the very last day of September so they're pretty new still and you can still get them on the website um yeah let's open this one. Oh, oh my god I love the smell of new fans um the the paper as you might be able to see just kind of has vans on it but also MoMA they always do this bag when they when they do collaborations with different brands and stuff. Um, they always make sure that every single thing from the box to the paper of the shoes and the collection has that uh, logo on it, which is really, really cool. These ones are the Monet ones. Let me get both out. Yes, yeah, so this is meant to be based on uh, Monet's uh, uh, painting Water Lilies. Um, which is really cool. I, I, I just love this pair of bands anyway, even if it wasn't necessarily based on Monet's work. I just love the colours, but it, the, the artwork itself is phenomenal. So um, on the tag, you can see what the actual artwork looks like. Um, as you can see here, very, very nice. And then, yeah, they've kind of put the, the artwork on the shoe. And you can see it here, all the blues and everything. It's really nice, really nicely done, the details. It's a very nice pair of shoes. Obviously, you can only see one shoe at the moment. But yeah, this is an authentic style of Vans, um, which I don't wear as often, to be honest. I'm more of an old school kind of girl when it comes to Vans, old school or slip-ons. But I do enjoy an authentic pair as well. So this is the other one. Um, as you can see, they don't exactly look like they don't match because it's meant to be the painting. And so it's just trying to get the whole painting on here, I guess. Uh, and I really like that. I love the blues. I love the painting anyway and um, yeah that's kind of what it looks like the, the back of it is just a standard Vans situation the waffle situation I enjoy how the sole the inside of it one shoe is black with a MoMA logo and the other one is white I think that's a really nice touch no one's gonna see obviously when your feet's in them but it's just quite cute I enjoy mismatched shoes um, yeah that's the back with the Vans logo um, and yeah, you get the Vans sticker of course as well. By the way, if you didn't know, these are stickers. A lot of people don't know this. I didn't know in the first few years of my Vans collecting life, but these are actually stickers. Um, and yeah, this is what the authentic Claude Monet shoes look like from the MoMA collection 2020. Next, we have another box. Again, who knows what's gonna be inside it. It's exciting. Um, whoop. Let's have a look. Oh, this is so good. I'm so excited about these ones, actually. So this is the slip-on pair, which has the artwork of Klandinsky on it. Uh, this is actually the last pair that I bought. I armed and on about it a lot. 
and eventually I was like, yeah, I really want to get them and I'm glad I did because so far from what I've seen on the UK Vans website anyway, this pair seems to be the most popular one. Uh, like a lot of the sizes for this pair have already sold out. On Instagram and stuff, when I look, people seem to really love this design. Um, the reason I am not about it initially is because I'm just not that familiar with Kandinsky's work generally. Like Monet, I've always enjoyed. The other ones that I'm going to show you, I've always enjoyed. But yeah, Kandinsky's just never been an artist that I've like known too much about, but that doesn't matter, you know? I still really love the design of the shoe and I think his artwork just looks so good uh, on the shoe. So let me just show them to you together first. Uh, there you go. This is the pair of shoes. Again, as you can see, you've got the black and white situation inside the shoe. Um, very nice. Also, as, as I said earlier, as I mentioned earlier, I do wear slip-ons quite a lot just because they're very comfortable and easy to put on. Um, so yeah, that's them from the side. Again, as you can see, they do not match at all, of course. Um, they obviously wouldn't. It's an art piece on a pair of vans, so of course they're going to try and make it uh, make make sure that as, as much of it as possible is on the on the shoes and that means that it might not match and I love that I think genuinely speaking one of my favorite things about these shoes is the fact that they don't match so yeah these are the backs in fact let me show them to you like this because that is probably better really really nice very cool I actually really like the checkered bit here because a lot of vans you know vans I'm wearing a vans t-shirt as well vans is known for its checkered style um, and it's cool that they managed to get that in. Uh, I'm guessing it's part of Kandinsky's actual artwork, uh, which is even cooler. But yeah, the, this is the pair. It looks awesome. Like, you can't deny it. Let me know in the comments, as always. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But I think this one is probably one of the most coolest looking ones. Obviously, the fact that it's white means that it might get dirty easily. But I don't think these are going to be shoes that I wear too often. Because they're like a limited edition collector's piece kind of thing. I'm, I'm probably just going to wear them on special occasions and stuff. I'm definitely going to wear them at least a few times. But not too much. Like, I'm not going to wear them in the rain. I've just had a look inside the tag. And the art piece is called Orange. Uh, and it was painted in 1923. And this is what it actually looks like. So if you want to, yeah, there you go. So you do have the checkered pieces on the actual artwork. If you know more about Klandinsky's work, obviously feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm probably gonna, you know, research some of his other work as well now that I've seen this because I do like his very, very modern -y art style of, I guess, geometric style work. I don't really know what it's called. I don't know too much about art, but I just know that I really like the work. And I particularly, love the shoes and they smell really nice and clean at the moment the next pair is this one. Oh, sorry i've got it wrong there you go uh, by the way uh, all of these i've gotten apart from the authentic i think i got in a size uk5 and then uh, yeah everything else i normally buy in four and a half so it just depends on the style i know my size in basically every single style of van shoes but it's normally either four and a half or five so yeah let's open the penultimate one. Ooh. Oh, exciting! Let me get these out for you. Oh my god, I actually love these so, so much. Look at these guys. Look how cute and colourful they are. So, these are, oh my god, these are beautiful. These are old school vans. So, the style of the shoes, as I said, is old school, which is the kind of shoes that I normally wear the most. I saw these on the website and I fell in love with them straight away. But unfortunately, I noticed that these were only available in the kids section or the youth section. And I was like, oh my god, that's so sad because I love them. These are probably my favorite actually of the whole collection. Thankfully, the youth section goes up to my size. It actually goes up to, I think, a size five and a half and like i said my size especially in old school vans is four and a half so i had no problem buying from the youth section and oh i'm so happy but yeah these are just meant to be generic moma vans i guess they're not from a particular artist they're just meant to kind of show some modern art as you can see on the front here on the right shoe it says primary blue my favorite color and then on the left one i don't know how well you can see it again really hope you can see it guys be a primary blue, secondary orange, I think. I love the contrast between these two colours as well for the two shoes. Um, and then, yeah, the right shoe, let me just show them to you one by one, actually. The right shoe is blue here. It also has a blue um, front situation with different shades of blue, which is so cool to me. And then on the side is yellow, some checkered yellows uh, with the white stripe. Very nice. On the back, it just says Vans, same blue as the front. On this side, we've got red, so they're all kind of primary colours, as you can see. It does actually say here as well, 
primary red and some red checkered stuff. I absolutely love the, the sole of the shoe. I love how it's got the colors on it. That's such a unique thing. You don't often see it in Vans, but when you do, it's awesome. And Vans fans get so excited about them. And yeah, that's the inside of it. This one uh, is also, again, this one's white. The other one will have a black inside situation. Oh, I've just noticed it even says primary yellow here. It's kind of, I don't know, again, how well you can see it, but it does say it. So basically all the primary colors, I guess, which I think is really, really cool. And then the next one, is the secondary color so you already saw the orange on the front uh, then you've got some orange bits here as well and then on this side you've got purple and it does say secondary purple really cool we've got the white stripe and then on the back it actually says moma rather than van so i'll show them show it to you together in a second as well but if you remember the last one the other shoe um said vans and this one says moma and then you've got green on this side some checkered green secondary green it says here Oh my god, I absolutely love this pair, like so cool. And yeah, that's the front and then the inside, of course, this one is black, like all the other MoMA shoes that we've seen. They are different colours on the inside, black and white. There is this little tag here that says uh, Vans MoMA on it with the different colours. And on the back of it is like, it says colour wheel, yellow, red and blue are the primary colours. All the other colours can be made from these. I kind of understand why these shoes are meant to be, I guess, for kids or youth. Because it's kind of teaching them about colours and what you can do with them and stuff. So kind of basic stuff about art. But I don't care. I still love it. I think it's really, really nice. This is what the two shoes look like next to each other. So blue, uh, <laughs> orange, green, red, and then yellow and purple. And then if you look at the backs of them from the behind... There you go, Vans MoMA. I honestly adore these shoes. I'm so, so happy that I could get them in my size. Obviously, I haven't worn them yet, but they are in my size. They're four and a half, so they should work, hopefully. As I said before, if you want to see me wearing these shoes and, you know, to just to get an idea of what these look like on feet, make sure to watch until the end of the video because there will be a montage at the end of me trying on all the shoes that I'm showing you. And then, of course, we've got the final pair which is in this one and this is actually the very first pair i got as soon as i saw them i was like oh my god this is so cool so again let's open them uh, this is what's in the box let me get them out oh these are so lord have mercy okay so these are meant to be the salvador dali shoes from his very famous painting the persistence of memory which even if you're not a big art fan you probably would have seen this painting at one point in your life it's basically the melting clock so let me in fact let me show you the actual painting so there you go that's the actual painting um that salvador dali uh did sorry about the noise outside but yeah you can see all the melting clocks really iconic painting and my favorite thing about this pair number one is that they're old schools which is what i tend to wear the most when it comes to vans but it's also the detail the detail that they've put into making this shoe as close to the painting as possible is just awesome so let's have a look at them together very quickly first as you can see even just from looking at them here um they're a bit slanted like it's not fully straight the line in the middle it'll be easier for me to show it to you uh one shoe at a time but yeah so as you can see here um just even from this bit here it's not fully straight it's at an angle which is very cool the where the place where the sorry about the noise oh lord have mercy i live near a church and i think it's like it's close to six o'clock that's why the, the bells are ringing you probably can't even hear it anyway so this is where the laces would uh come up and it's to the side as you can see it's not right in the center it's not right in the middle it's a bit towards the side uh, because it's all meant to be a bit slanted and like melting kind of thing on this side You've got the standard black van stripe But you've also got a bit of Dali's painting in the background um, The back is just like this kind of like creamy um, Brown suede type of thing and then on this side you've got some of the clocks the melting clocks very very cool I also love the sole of this like look you can you can get the kind of melting vibe even on the sole like look they've designed this so well and this is actually like 3d as well so so cool even on the front look you can see there's a bit of like woo going on i don't know how to describe this but it's really oh my god i've just noticed something else on the back of the shoe normally you'd get the vans logo right in the center on the back and with this pair it's on the side a little bit because like like i said it's all meant to be a bit melting and kind of yeah slanted and at an angle and stuff really cool i love what they've done with this even my dad who's not necessarily a big vans fan or anything when i showed it to him he was like 
that's really cool. He told me not to ever wear these. He was like, just just keep them as like a collectible piece because these are really cool. So that's saying something. And then the other shoe, of course, is like, again, not gonna be exactly the same, but it does have the same vibe. So you've got the kind of side um, uh, lace situation that goes up instead of it being straight, the kind of um, angled front bit of the shoe. Um, this is the artwork on the inside and you can see some of the clocks. The back of it is just, again, creamy suede. And then on the outside, you've got, you've got the black stripe and the rest of the painting. And of course, again, uh, the sole has all the melting vibe. This is what they look like together. So again, it's not fully matching, but like I said, these shoes never will be. The inside, again, one is white, one is black. This is what they would look like from the side and from the other side and from the front. Yeah, I'm actually very excited to wear them. Just put them on my feet to see what they would look like because I read that a lot of people were a bit concerned of, as to how these were gonna look uh, when they're on feet because of the angled vibe of them, if they're gonna be like as comfortable as regular vans or if they're gonna look too weird. But I don't care, like I said, I'm probably not gonna wear these too much. I just love how cool they look. Like they're literally, in my opinion, a piece of art on their own. Like they're a work of art, not just because of Dali's work, but because of Dali's work mixed with the pair of shoes of vans. My favorite as well, old school vans. So let's go to a little montage now to see them on my feet that is the end of this video sorry it was a very short hopefully and kind of chilled relaxed casual video i just wanted to show you this collection because i absolutely love them all like i said you can still get them on the website some sizes might be sold out but you might get lucky and be able to find your shoe size this isn't the whole collection either there are some other shoes and other like t-shirts and hats and stuff that came with the collection so yeah just go on the website and have a look if you want to i think my favorite pair oh i don't know i really like the slip-ons as well honestly i love all four of them for different reasons i think the most wearable one it's probably Monet's the first one that I showed you because the painting itself is so like you know it's just blue and like the shades of that are used in it are colors that you can easily m match with you know outfits and stuff Dali's one is probably the coolest but not sure how wearable it's gonna be like how often I'm gonna wear it and then the youth one with all the colors I'm probably gonna wear that a lot to be fair because I love wearing happy colors and like colorful stuff so I'm probably gonna use that one a lot and then the slip-ons with Klandinsky's work they look awesome but because they're white I'm just gonna have to be really careful with not maybe wearing them when it's rainy or if I'm going somewhere muddy but yeah that is it please let me know what your favorite pair was of the four that I showed you I'm always interested to hear your thoughts and yeah follow me on Instagram if you want to see pictures of my vans and stuff in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!